We are keeping today the feast of all the saints of Russia. And when I reflect on the message which leave us, I remember a few features. First of all, their first discovery of Christianity. Messengers of Prince Vladimir went to Constantinople to find out what Christianity was about. And they came back and saying that they had never in their lives seen anything so beautiful. That standing in the church, they thought they were in heaven. And indeed, the beauty which they perceived was not aesthetics. It was not the icons or the architecture or the singing. It was a presence, a divine presence that in itself was beauty, harmony, perfection that was being communicated to the people who stood there open-hearted and received this message of divine beauty, of total harmony of God himself in their midst. And again, what I learned there was grat gratitude, an immense gratitude for what had been given them. And this gratitude found expression in loving, in loving God to the point of being ready to renounce all their past and enter into a new life, but a love which was not sentimental. It was a readiness to thank God for all that he was, all that he had given them to thank him by the gift of their own life without reserve. And they gave this life to him. They came back and proclaimed what they had seen. And what they had seen became the possession of hundreds and thousands of people who learned from them about the God, a God who so loved the world that he had caught it into existence, become man himself, lived and died for us to believe that we are loved of him. And who considered every human being, however unworthy in the eyes of his neighbors, as being worth the life and the death of the incarnate Son of God. We have an example of this in the person of our first martyrs, Boris and Gleb. Their brother wanted to kill them, to take possession of their throne. They were surrounded by an army. They could have defended themselves, but they turned to their people and said, if blood is to be shed, let it be ours. And they went to their brother and were murdered. They also knew how to give their lives for the sake of the love of God, to be an image of his love and the love of the neighbor who was so sacred in the eyes of God that it was worth not only living but dying for him. And this love which they learned from God, they were prepared to give to everyone. And the mission which we see in the history of the Russian church is not a conquest. It is an, an exodus of people filled with love, with veneration for every human being whom God had not only created, but saved by his death. They went to preach love, not sentimental love, but a readiness to give themselves in an act of gratitude, of rejoicing. And we have in the life 
of St. Stephen of Perm, an example of this. He learned the language of the Siberian tribes to which he wanted to preach the gospel. He began to preach and conquer people by the beauty of what he had to say. Not the convincingness, but a revelation, a revelation of uns, unutterable beauty. And the people around decided to murder him. Murders were sent to that effect. And when they came back, they asked, well, have you killed the man? No. When we were face to face with him and heard him speak to us, there was such love streaming out of him that we can, could only kneel down and accept his blessing in veneration. And the Russian spirit found expression also in the ascetic world, in two extremes, perhaps. In the teaching, the ascetical, severe teaching of St. Joseph of Volokolamsk, and in the spiritual, supple, light teaching of Neil of the Sora, Neil Sorsky, through which the light of God shines. We have all these examples. We have all these people. We have their teaching. Let us follow their example. Let us learn from them and become worthy of the God who saved them and to whom they gave their lives and to the God and them whose heirs we are. Without them, we would not be Russian Orthodox people. How grateful we must be. How sedulously we must learn from their lives and their teaching, but also from this example of a love which is a gift of self in joyful gratitude. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you by his grace and love towards mankind always, now and forever, and world without end.